Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's 8-box quick hit multi-year football mixer. A lot of different years here. 2019, 2020, 2017, 2020, 2019, 2020, and 2018 right here as well. Big thanks to everyone right here for getting your spot straight up. And congrats again to the winners as well in those prestige pack breaks. All 32 teams are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize each list four and a three seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. We got Zach all the way down to John after seven. Four and a three, seven times for the football teams. One, two, three, four, five, six and seventh and final time good luck packers down to dolphins now remember all the different years in this product so trade at your own risk all right zach with the packers martin with the ravens and the jags dean with the giants gretchen with the browns aj with the chargers sean with the titans dean with the falcons josh with the bucks mark with the cardinals Adam with the Rams, Gretchen with the Seahawks, Robert with the Colts, Steve Birch with the uh, Chiefs, Martin with the Lions, David with the Bears, Brian, Last Spot Mojo, Panthers, Steve with the Eagles, Matt with the Broncos, Adam with the Washington football team, Gretchen with the Bills, Brandon with the Patriots, Mike with the Bengals, Gretchen, you got my Raiders and the Steelers and the Saints, Karsten with the Jets, James with the Cowboys, Brandon with the Vikings, Robert with the Niners, Stephen K with the Texans, and John with the Miami Dolphins. Let's get all this on one page. Let's sort by column B, by team. And here's all the boxes right there. You can see on the top camera in here. We should have two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right. Any trades? Maybe, maybe not. Well, let's pause the video. Let's see if there's any trade activity. When we come back, we'll have the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. There were no deals done, so the list remains the same on the Jaspies 8-Box Quick Hit Football Mixer on Wednesday the 24th. Thanks, everyone, for getting into the action. Really appreciate it. A lot of different years. Here, let's go back in time to 2018. We've been doing these as filler packs. Let's get a good look at this. There could be a lot of great 2018 names like... <laughs> I'm blanking on 2018. Saquon Barkley, I think, is 2018. Oh, this was the Baker Mayfield. Oh, that Baker Mayfield wouldn't be too bad to get. Baker Mayfield, Saquon Barkley. Josh, oh, Josh Allen year. All right, so this is, this is a pretty good, pretty solid first round. So I guess Cleveland, Gretchen, and Buffalo, also Gretchen. So this is, this is a box you want to pay attention to. I get all these packs opening because there could be a couple of big quarterback names in here. Let's scroll. Oh, yeah. Um, Lamar Jackson, obviously, number 32 pick. You scroll down the draft board. Darius Leonard for the uh, Colts is also in the mix. Leighton Van Der Esch. Nick Chubb is also in here too. Oh, is anyone supposed to be... If Gretchen is listening, you're up on the hit draft. Go over to Instagram at Jaspies Breaks. Good luck. Choose wisely. Obviously, vet commons don't don't ship, but parallels, inserts, you know, like veteran cars that are refractors, obviously will ship. Try 
Josh Rosen. <laughs> Steve Locke saying, oh wait. Yeah, looks like, I kind of hope that, I mean, this might be the last offseason where Josh Rosen maybe has a chance at sort of reviving potential, you know, reviving his career, becoming a potential starter. So obviously these are all inserts. Stuff like this, of course, will all ship. Nice. There's our first Josh Allen. We like Ronald Jones. He looked pretty good. I guess second year Patrick Mahomes can work too. I think vet commons don't ship, but all Patrick Mahomes' do ship. Tom Brady's second year Kyler Murray's when we get to that particular year will happen. But here is a nice card from the get-go. That's Josh Allen. Gretchen with the Buffalo Bills. Buffalo! Seems to be improving year after year. Which is good. Which is a good thing. Uh, Tristan, no idea how much prison basketball is going to be this year. Expensive, probably. Pricey. Security card there. <clears throat> I like how all the vets the cards are right there, and once you get to that parallel, then it's all inserts or rookies after that. So good, good pattern. All right, another Josh Allen, this time a uh, purple foil parallel for Gretchen and the Buffalo Bills. Buffalo! See how Carson does? We have any uh, Colts fans here? How are we feeling about... How are we feeling about Carson Wentz out there? Can Sam, Sam Reich, Frank Reich fix him? Josh Rosen right there. Steve Locke thinks Carson bounces back in Indianapolis. I hope so. Got Nick Chubb right here too. I hope he bounces back. <clears throat> I was surprised at how how fast that situation deteriorated in uh, 
in Philadelphia, though. Yeah, I think Frank Reich left. That was a problem. And then I guess just a lot of bad injuries for them this year, too. Didn't really help out. But, but even when they seemed healthy, it seemed like the play calling wasn't really there. Maybe there weren't the resources to develop him as a quarterback. He seemed to be just just kind of wildly inaccurate. And I don't know if that was because of the bad play calling or maybe he was just too jittery, got trying to get rid of the ball early. He did get sacked a zillion times. Well, then that's the other big question, AJ. You're right. Is Jalen Hurts the answer in Philadelphia? We've got a few Eagles fans in here who are who are kind of like, yeah. I think the general thought is that in any other situation, he may need, unless he just surprises everybody, he may need like a year or two to just kind of marinate, which I think was originally the plan. So we'll see. I've heard things for the talking heads on like NFL Network and and radio and TV say say that there is a chance that uh, that the Philadelphia Eagles would be looking to add another quarterback either through the draft or or they'll sign a quarterback maybe for a little bit of quarterback competition. You know, so I wonder. I mean, could you could you get another quarterback in there, and maybe maybe Jalen Hurts kind of fills a Taysom Hill role for a little bit because he's pretty talented on the field. He, he's a good playmaker, but maybe he's not quite a quarterback yet. stack of prison football cello packs hmm maybe maybe Ryan Fitzpatrick could be in Philadelphia for a little bit help Jalen Hurts marinate might not be a bad idea Robert is he is he retired yet Drew Brees is he going to retire Where's this guy going to go? Deshaun Watson? All right, they could save a little bit of money with Ryan Fitzpatrick as well. Is he a free agent? You would think that maybe Miami re-signs him? Maybe not. There have been rumblings that Miami might want to try to chase a Deshaun Watson. Nothing too crazy here. Will the talking heads go for a once in a lifetime QB? And of course, the feel that hurts is a road to nowhere. And hopefully they find a QB that feels that this must be the place. Nice one, Brad. Some good work there. Some good work there. Jacob, Jay, people are saying Aaron Jones might go to the Steelers. 
What people are that? That could be interesting. Yeah, it's hard to find, like... It's, it's, it's a fun and somewhat... It's a both fun and frustrating time because there's so much rumors going around out there. And then people just speculating on what's going on there. And speculation turns into rumors, even though it's just speculation, like just connecting dots, you know? But then it turns into like, oh, maybe it's... Then some people think of it as like, oh, it's, it's fact, or there's actually smoke with the fire. Right. Lonnie's an Eagles fan. Eagles are full are in full rebuild. We'll have top ten draft picks the next few years to get a QB. Alright, so yeah, why not just roll with Hertz? Improve that offensive line. Had a couple weapons here and there. And then if you really need the quarterback, then you can get him later. No rush. Taylor red, white, and blitz. He's pretty good. And Jeff Akuda on the back right there. <laughs> That's true, Lonnie. Yeah, in the NFC East, you could be either close to the top pick in the draft, or you can also be close to the playoffs. Close to a playoff spot. All right, good luck. Yeah, and if the East is a bit of a mess, isn't it? <laughs> like, what are the Cowboys going to do? They had a rough year last year. Mostly because of the Dak Prescott injury, and now they got to figure that out. And even when Dak Prescott was healthy, that defense had regressed. They had a pretty solid defense, but that regressed. You know, kind of rough to have like Mike McCarthy in there in a pandemic season. So they weren't, it's not like they were able to get together and get used to each other in camp and stuff like that. So that was weird. You know, that always makes, creates weird chemistry too. I'm trying to get like, 50 plus different guys together. You know, and try to build some chemistry and you got limited practices and all that sort of stuff. It gets pretty difficult. The Redskins got some new coaches. They look good at times, but they've got a ways to go. The Eagles have a ways to go. The Giants aren't that great. Yeah, it's funny that only NFC East teams have beaten Brady in Super Bowls. Yeah, I guess I guess they have the ability to catch that lightning in a bottle better than some other teams around the NFL. We got rookie ticket autograph, uh, Cotterell Hodge. That is for Cleveland. This is for you. We got Nate Stanley rookie ticket autograph for the Vikings, Brandon. The Vikings looking for a new quarterback? I feel like I've heard some rumblings that reports coming out of Minnesota that they're not terribly thrilled with Kirk Cousins could move on from them. There's Lavisca Chenault Jr. On-card autograph for Martin and the Jaguars. It's Dak Prescott to 199. What happens with Dak? That goes to Dallas, James. And we've got K.J. Hill. 
Chargers autograph going to AJ and the Bolts. Steve Locke, you think you guys, Minnesota, stuck with Cousins? This would be hard to unload that contract. And who else, yeah, who else could you get? There's Kari Willis. Nice, cracked ice autograph. Six out of 22 for the Colts. Robert Thacker with the blue horseshoes. Yeah, I don't know. It'd be a challenge. I guess the only, the only... The only reason I guess you would go for Deshaun Watson really would be the only guy you'd go for. 2017 Mega Box. This is Mahomes hunting. But then I don't know who would you have to give up. It's not just Cousins. Cousins, Picks, other probably defensive players on that on that Vikings defense. It's the first quarter I thought the Lakers were going to be a pretty competitive game, but second quarter and now the beginning of the third quarter, it's just slipping away from the Lakers. Watson would do it, yeah. <laughs> I feel bad for, for teams like the Vikings because like it's always kind of terrible to be a middle of the pack or a, 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 like, you know, the Vikings are like an upper middle class team, right? You know, they're going to get in the playoffs or, or be in the hunt for the playoffs. And they've got some players, you know, and, and a lot of talent. And they're kind of on the cusp here and there. They got a good defense, blah, 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 blah. But they're just, they just can't, can't quite get over that hump. But it's not like, but the team isn't bad enough to just tear down, you know, and try to get draft picks. So... They're kind of in the middle, this middle of the road kind of area, which is rough. Alex Collins goes to the Seahawks, Gretchen. So they're kind of in a weird spot, I think. Joe Mixon rated rookie. Actually, I think Watson rated rookies are, are going to be in here too. In addition to Mahomes. Christian McCaffrey rated rookie for the Panthers. That'll be for Brian Croft. Yeah, Brandon's thinking though, you know what? Cousins isn't actually the problem. The the offense, defensive line, and the defense defense health is the problem. And we've got Le'Veon Bell, Ground Force, Steelers edition, Deshaun Kaiser, Corey Davis, Leonard Fournette. Where's Leonard Fournette going to end up? All right, so no Watsons, no Mahomes in there. Let's keep searching for 20, top 2020 rookies here. XR.
We got Devin Asiasi to 199, and we've got Jake from State Farm to 49. Patriots and Buffalo. Behind Henry Ruggs is a dual relic. Team materials, Antonio Gibson and Antonio Gandy Golden. The two Antonios for Adam and the Washington football team. And we got Lynn Bowden Jr., Luminous Endorsements Autograph for the Raiders. Four out of ten, still Raiders edition here, Gretchen. Didn't quite work out for him in Vegas. There's Henry Ruggs. Got Kyler Murray, Terry McLaurin, Zach Moss to 249 for Buffalo, Juju Smith Schuster to 249, and Extreme Rookies, 47 out of 99, Devin DuVernay for Martin and the Ravens. Where does Juju Smith-Schuster go? It's for Gretchen and the Steelers. He might, might end up somewhere else. And behind Trayvon Diggs is another Raider, Brian Edwards. Triple Relic and Autograph. I've got high hopes for him next year, Gretchen. Looking forward to his evolution as a player. Triple Relic and Autograph. Big target out of uh, South Carolina, I believe. All right. Certified. This is 2019 certified. We got Joe Mixon to 450. And Easton Stick, three color patch and autograph to 299. Chargers, that'll be for A.J. Anderson. Emmanuel Hall, 7 out of 25. That's a catch. Right, he's got his eyes on the football, his hands are out front. David with the Bears. Josh Allen, piece of his jersey, to 299 for Gretchen and the Buffalo Bills. And there's Melvin Gordon. Christian Wilkins to 199. And new generation relic Drew Locke for Denver and Matt. George Kittle to 199. And Cam Newton back here. Where does Cam Newton end up? A lot of quarterback questions out there. All right, let's do NT, and then we'll we'll end with who am I with the final mini helmet here. All right, this is 2019 NT football.
All right, we got a redemption. We got a book. We got all sorts of things happening in here. A pretty thick book right there, too. Possible randomizer, one happy person, some sad people involved. Let's see what we got. We got Dak Prescott right there on top, 42 out of 99. That is for James in Dallas. Four out of 35, Christian McCaffrey, Carolina. That's going to be for Brian Croft. We got a randomizer between the Seahawks and the Niners, DK Metcalf, Debo Samuel, 43 out of 99. Seahawks, Gretchen, Niners, Robert. So I'll be a randomizer between those two teams at the end. Got Dalvin Cook, 69 out of 99. Yeah, I hope they bring back that uh, these wooden boxes next year for for NT with the big snap sound that they make, which is due to the strip of tape that they put right here. So hopefully they'll bring that back. There's Andy Isabella, three out of ninety nine. I wonder why they moved away from the wooden box. I wonder if it was like a a supply issue due to the pandemic. All right, so that's a rookie triple. Let's do the other ones first. We've got Delaney Walker to 75. I don't think it's autographed, though. I think the rookie triple just might be relics. 13 out of 49. Delaney Walker going to Sean and the Titans. Let's just show you the triple right here. Ooh, Kyler Murray. Daniel Jones and Dwayne Haskins. Nice. Hey, Dwayne Haskins. You think maybe he... Revive something in in Pittsburgh. But this will be a randomizer between Mark and the Cardinals, Dean and the Giants, and Adam and the Washington football team. Oh! There are the Eagles. Someone was asking for the Eagles. Steve Locke, I think. Eagles. There are the fly. Eagles fly. One out of five. J.J. Arthiga Whiteside. Excellent patch with Philadelphia right there. Part of their seal. And the on-card autograph. Nice. Oh, piece of the hat. That's pretty sharp. And out of fives and under, train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo. It's a good-looking hit. He had a decent year last year. Let's see what how he does with a with with a fresh coaching staff. And all that. And, oh, Redemption's back here. We got 29 out of 86. Darius Slayton, jersey and autograph for the New York Football Giants. Dean Sullivan with that one. The Redemption is Drew Locke, and you have, you have time. Crossover rookie patch autographs for Matt and Denver. Is Drew Locke the answer in Denver? All right, now, who am I? Now, if it ends up being a college helmet or something like that, it'll go to the team that they played for the longest if they're retired or the team that they're currently on right now if they're active, right? So that will, no, that's not, I was looking for this. So that'll obviously go, still go to the Chiefs, but yeah. All right, let's see what we got here in these TriStar helmets. Oh, there's a sticker right over that notch there. Star usually includes like a little uh, game show card here. All right, who am I? Got into the Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1999. Part of this team's 50th anniversary team and their Wall of Fame. AFL all-time team. Two-time AFL champion. A four-time TSN all-AFL selection and eight-time Pro Bowl selection. 
who am I? Let me actually get you some more information here. Wow, I am 82 years old. Still alive. Still alive. From Georgia Tech, was an offensive guard, played for one team my entire career, a Hall of Famer. I don't know if we're, I don't know if we're gonna get offensive linemen from the nineteen uh, sixties. Um, he was drafted by the Bills. This is gonna go to Gretchen and the Buffalo Bills. It's Billy Shaw. Buffalo Shaw was the prototypical pulling guard who, despite his size, held his own against much bigger defensive linemen like Ernie Ladd, Earl Fison, and old Buck Buchanan. He's also the only player ever to be inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame without ever playing in, in the NFL. Bills were an AFL team for, for most of his career. There you go. Got to give the, the big uglies up front some love. There he is. Love to the linemen. They make the game tick. So there you go. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. So now let's do some randomizing here. All right, so let's flip back to this list right here. So the dual relic was Seahawks in San Francisco, and the triple relic book, was, which looked pretty cool, was Arizona, New York football giants, and the Washington football team. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Four and a six, ten times for each list. One, two, three, four, five. And 10th and final time, and it goes to Seattle. Gretchen with the Seahawks. So you'll get this dual relic right here. 43 out of 99. A little dusty on my table here. All right, back here. Four and a six, 10 times for the teams. One, two, three. And 10th and final time, Triple Relic book, Mark Cardinals. There you go. Yeah, Steve Locke, you haven't played in the NFL either, but now, yes, you may be able to make it to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Nice. There you go. Nice three-color Triple Relic book, 13 out of 49, featuring those QBs right there. There you have it. That was Jaspi's 8-box quick-hit football mixer. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.